Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and I've got uh, this home they call the Meadow Ranch. Now, as you can tell, it's got modern styling. It's got a front and rear porch. It is a farmhouse styled home, but as you can tell, it has been uh, modernized. So it's got uh, all your modern stuff. And uh, I really like the updates they did, especially the way this black kind of pops out from the white there. You got a ton of windows. So this one is a two bedroom, two bath with a bonus room. Comes in at 1,682 square feet. Now mind you, that side's not completely finished out there. But this is your back porch. And we'll come out and take a look at that here in just a minute once we get inside. So this home can be found at American Home Centers in Billings, Montana. I really like what they've done on the back side of this home also. See now this is a totally different color. This is a gray on black while the other side was a white on black. And then you've got the tin accents. We do have the tin roof. So we've got really wide windows in here also. Now this is going to be your front porch, which there again, we'll come outside and take a look at once we get up inside the home. So see, t looking from this side, you can see you've got the white and then the darker gray. As you can see, you've got kind of two separate levels also in your on the uh, design of the home there. So now as we come inside, you can see you've got full glass in your door right here. Now all your doors have the full glass except for one. And that would be that one over there. But you've got the extra wide windows in your living room. Now I do have another version of this home on the channel already. That one was done at a dealer in, was it Napa, Idaho? So I think it might be the same model number, but it definitely has a different floor plan to it. As far as, like it doesn't have that bonus room over there. So now let's go check out your front porch here. Now your front porch is only about six foot wide and it runs about half the width of the home obviously. Got a couple of recessed lights up there. Now in our bonus room, it's almost big enough that you might even be able to convert it into a bedroom if you wanted to. And I see I didn't turn the light on in this one. Of course we've got that extra wide window over there and one over here. 
So even on a cloudy, rainy day, it is still fairly light in here. Now you've got about nine foot ceilings over there in that corner and over here you're down to about eight foot. And we'll point out over here in your living room, the main space of this side of the home, you've got about 10 foot ceiling with about nine foot in that corner. So we're going to go onto this side of the home first. We're going to do the bathroom. Now this is your guest bathroom. Of course you've got the three drawers right there. Nice large counter with the glass inlay. We can say hello to Raiden. And you've got the single piece shower tub combo with a really deep tub. I mean, I said I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but you can see just how tall that is. And then just to the left of that bathroom is your bedroom. Now the water heater, unfortunately, is in the closet here. Now as we come down into our kitchen, we'll start on this side. That same backsplash that was in the bathroom. Now you've got the black composite sink, so it's kind of a, uh, not even sure what the composite is made out of. So it's real similar to the same stuff that they're using in pickup trucks nowadays. Now if it's strong enough for a pickup truck, it's going to withstand anything that you're going to throw into it. And this is where your refrigerator would go. So we have drawers above all our doors here, so that's really nice to see. see do we have any pullouts? It's a nice big island over here centered perfectly between the two and gives you enough space to walk on each side. And then you've got this whole wall of cabinets over here also. So now there is no pantry in this home, so this is kind of your pantry area right here. And then there's another one down at that end. I like these glass filled doors right here. There's even some lighting in there. We've got drawers on both sides of our stove here in case I haven't pointed that out yet. And 
Now here is our dining room. Really nice light fixture there. check out our back porch I probably won't be able to talk much once we get out here because there's a train stop right outside All right, now we're going to go to the utility room. So the Western dryer. There's your furnace and your electrical panel over there. And then in our master bedroom, our master bedroom there again has got the nine foot in that corner, eight foot in the lower corner. Then our walk-in closet. Now this one has the dual racks all the way around. I'm sure if you just needed a single rack in one spot, that would be easily accommodated when you ordered the home. So once again, you've got the same size counter as what you had in your guest bathroom. Now for a master bathroom, this is definitely on the smaller side, but uh, still very functional, obviously. You got your open window, or window that you can open, and you've got this white marble tile shower here. Now I don't know that it's actually real marble, but it definitely looks like marble. So you've got your shelf in the corner there. You've got your bench that runs the full length of the shower. Stainless steel on your uh, fixtures for your doors. And how about we have no stains in the comments down below? I don't know if that's even possible to stain a comment, but anyway, <laughs> let's not try to stain the comments and uh, leave all the comments you want. Make sure while you're down there leaving him comments, you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. See, I told you there was a train stopped outside. Anyway. I will be back with some price information here shortly. Thanks for watching. Right, well, I hope you all really enjoyed this modern take on a farmhouse styling of a home. So this is, once again, the Meadow Ranch 4001, found here at American Home Centers in Billings, Montana. 
So this one was 1,682 square foot. This is a modular. You can only get this as a modular. You can't get this as a manufactured. So therefore you've got crane prices, you know, foundation, things like that, that all have to be added into the cost of this home when you have it set up. Of course, you know, there could be extra freight charges, city fees, county fees also, depending on where you have it set up. So with all that in mind, this 1,682 modern take in a farmhouse style home comes in at uh, right around, or I should say just under $300,000 at $299,000. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.